Hello everybody, welcome back to another Fortnite creative video. Today, I am in a lab, and I'm going to show you how to make this combination lock. See? No matter what I press, uh, it won't be there. But if I click one, that activates these two triggers press something else, it disables it. So I have to go one, five. <gasps> so basically, uh, there's nine buttons. And each button, uh, you want to make sure the interact time is instant. And... interaction text is whatever you want it to be and basically I have it so when my code is uh, 158 so I have this when interacted transmit on channel 1 over here I've got it when interacted with transmit on channel 2 you can see every single uh, button that I don't have my code as is a 2 that's because over here, and this might look a bit overwhelming, but uh, I'll explain everything. It disables the entire system on channel 2, so that way it, you can only in put in the correct code. And uh, while I was putting in the code, you could hear the trigger sound. Uh, you could either just move the trigger further away. Or you could uh, disable the trigger sound. I just have it so, uh, for the video. But uh, as you can see, uh, number f button number five is channel three, and button number eight is channel four. That's because uh, it enables on channel one, which is what happens when you click the first button. And it disables on channel 2, as I already told you. It triggers on channel 1. And then when triggered, transmit on channel 5. Now that's very important, because that would is going to allow uh, this next sequence to happen. So if you just click 8, it won't uh, do the final part of the code. And if you could... It, this actually... Uh, you can get it, you can literally just go to devices and type in trigger, you can see the trigger, and attribute trigger. I have it enabling on channel 1, and you can change the channels uh, for whatever suits your map, and uh, I don't have it disabling on anything, and I want it to, <coughs> to listen on channel 5. And if check is invalid, tr transmit on channel 2, which uh, disables everything. Meaning, if you click number 5 and it tries to uh, transmit on this trigger, it has to first check if this trigger is enabled. And if it's not, then it will disable the entire system. And this uh, is enable on channel 5, disable on channel 2, channel 5, because uh, when triggered. Uh, trigger when receiving from channel 3, that's the channel I have my uh, fourth button on. And then uh, when triggered, transmit on channel 6. Now same thing like this guy, uh, this one, enable on channel 6 listen to channel 6 also very important and if check is invalid transmit on channel 2 so exactly the same as this except uh, you just change the channels and to get where I am right now uh, you're usually in this area you want to head over to this uh, icon where you click the tie and this is the final trigger it enables on channel 6. 
disabled on channel 2. And triggers when receiving from channel 4, that's button number 8. And then when triggered, transmit on channel 7. And that is the final uh, thing. As you can see, I just have a simple prop mover uh, that just starts and enables on channel 7. That's really it, all there is. But you can make it do whatever you want. Uh, if you get a, a lock device, I'll show how to use that in a future video. But uh, So you can unlock doors. But that is basically all there is to it. Uh, again, you can change the channels to whatever fits your map. And that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Good.